in this video we are going to learn about lac operon so before uh, moving on we need to understand that what exactly an operon is so an operon is a set of genes which are under the control of a single promoter for example here there are three genes present lac z lac y and lac a which are under the control of a single promoter here so one of the uh, general example that we see is of lac operon present in the e coli so now we need to understand that what is the role of this lac operon before that we need to understand that what is the basic source of energy for a cell so for a cell to obtain its energy it metabolizes glucose that we all know but what will happen if there will be no glucose present in the cell well in that case uh, the cell will utilize lactose and as you all know that lactose is made up of galactose and glucose so uh, the cell will metabolize this lactose and obtain glucose from here and use it as its energy source now how this lactose will get metabolized it is by these genes by the use of lac operon so these three genes present here lac z lac y and lac a are responsible for the uh, transcription of the genes uh, which will lead to the synthesis of enzymes which are involved in the lactose metabolism so the lac z and uh, gene is responsible for the synthesis of beta galactosidase enzyme as the name suggests galactosidase means cleavage of the galactoside bond or uh, the uh, the bond present between the galactose and the glucose so and next the lac y is responsible for uh, the synthesis of the enzyme permease and lac a is responsible for the synthesis of enzyme thiogalactosidase so these are the three enzymes which are being synthesized by the lac operon so now uh, before moving on i will tell you the basic functions of these three enzymes so beta galactosidase is the enzyme which is responsible for the cleavage of the bond between the galactose and glucose of the lactose so ultimately when this bond will get cleaved we will get glucose which will be metabolized by the uh, cell which was initially uh, deficient of glucose and the permease enzyme this enzyme is a membrane bound enzyme so when this enzyme gets transcribed from over here it will move on to the surface of the cell and hence will uh, allow the uh, allow excess of lactose from the surrounding media to enter into the cell to be used by the bacteria as energy source and the third enzyme thiogalactosidase it is responsible for the degradation of uh, the unwanted material which might enter uh, along with the lactose uh, with the help of this permease enzyme so now there are two conditions when there is lactose present in excess and when there is lactose uh present in very low quantities so uh the first condition we will look upon is when there is no lactose present so first condition is low no lactose present now uh if we analyze this situation when there is no lactose present this means that there is already high amounts of glucose present for the cell to use as its energy source in that case there is no need of any lactose and hence there is no need of these enzymes to be synthesized and no need of them to metabolize any type of lactose or any other thing so there is enough glucose present for the cell to metabolize and use as its energy source in that case we do not need these enzymes so in that case we also need to shut down the synthesis of these enzymes well it uh, it is it happens by a mechanism so that mechanism means that we need to repress the transcription of these genes how it happens well it happens by the help of this gene present uh, somewhere upstream of the promoter known as lac i so this lac i gene encodes for a polypeptide which is, uh, which is a repressor so in this case this repressor will go and bind to this promoter and hence will uh, not allow the rna polymerase to come and move forward uh, to these genes to transcribe them hence this uh, transcription gets halted hence 
there is no synthesis of any enzymes and hence our purpose is solved that we uh, we have enough glucose and we do not need any enzymes for the synthesis of lactose well the second condition is when lactose is present well lactose will be present when there is very low amounts of glucose the cell needs a secondary metabolizing agent as an energy source so uh, in that case lactose will be there the cell will have to metabolize the lactose to obtain its energy because there is very low glucose present in the cell so in that case we need these enzymes we need to transcribe these enzymes and in that case we also need to uh, repress this repressor from binding to the promoter we do not want this repressor to bind to the promoter in that case what happens is that when there is enough lactose present in the uh, media so what it will do is that this lactose will go and bind to the repressor and change its conformation somehow so obviously when its conformation will get changed it will not be able to bind to the promoter and hence the rna polymerase can easily move along the dna and transcribe these genes and ultimately the gene uh, these enzymes which are responsible for the lactose metabolism will be formed and these enzymes will be active and they will act on the lactose metabolize it produce glucose and hence the cell will obtain its energy this was the uh, mechanism in which the repressor was involved so let's summarize it once so these enzymes or these genes are needed for the synthesis of the enzymes three enzymes the first enzyme involved in the uh, a cleavage of the bond between galactose and glucose of lactose the second permease which is a membrane bound enzyme it bind, binds to the cell wall of the uh, bacteria and allows more of lactose to enter into the cell and thiogalactosidase this enzyme is responsible for the uh, degradation of unwanted material which might have come along with the lactose so uh, there are two situations here number one when there is no glucose present this situation will be uh, there when there is enough glucose present for the cell to metabolize and hence it do not need any lactose so in that case we do not need these enzymes we do not want to um, transcribe these enzymes in that case the lac i gene which is present upstream somewhere of the promoter will uh, lead to the synthesis of a polypeptide which is the repressor it will go and bind to the promoter and will not allow rna polymerase to uh, uh, go or uh, scan this gene segment and uh, ultimately the system will not be able to synthesize any enzymes responsible for the lactose metabolism however the second situation was when there was lactose present so this situation will be there when there is low glucose present in the cell and hence the cell needs some another energy source which is lactose so in that case we need the enzymes which will be able to catabolize this lactose so as to uh, give the provide the cell with glucose so we need these and uh, genes to be transcribed and hence we need these enzymes in that case the repressor will be bound by the lactose which will lead to the uh, change in the conformation of the repressor and hence the repressor will not be able to bind to the promoter and hence the rna polymerase will uh, uh, easily bind to the promoter and scan this segment for the synthesis or of these enzymes which are involved in the lactose metabolism so all this was the role of repressor uh in the operation of this lacoperon now we will look on to the role of activator on the operation of the lacoperon so the activator of lacoperon is called cap cap means catabolite activating protein so uh, before this we need to understand that uh, there is a molecule called camp which is cyclic amp so the glucose levels in the cell regulate the camp levels in the cell so when there is high glucose present in the cell then there will be no camp and when there is low glucose in the cell then there will be high camp so you need to understand this that when there is high glucose concentrations in the cell there will be low camp present and hence uh, and uh, on the other other hand when there is low glucose present then there will be high camp in the cell now uh, the role of cap here is that when this camp binds to the cap it gets activated and this cap camp complex will then bind to the promoter
and lead to the activation of these genes they enhance the transcription of these genes so suppose this is the cmp so when there is low glucose in the cell there will be high amounts of cmp so the low amount of glucose present in the cell will indicate this cmp to bind to the catabolite activating protein and uh, make a complex so as it can bind to the promoter and lead to the enhanced transcription of these genes so the catabolite activating protein or the cap protein will make a complex with these cmp molecules and this will ultimately go and bind to the promoter and lead to the enhanced transcription of the genes